Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to solve two unknown variables with two equations and three unknown variables with three equations using 9N1 MS calculator. So before we start, the format of entering the uh, equation values are in the form of ax plus by is equal to c if it is a two unknown variable with two equations. If it is three unknown variables with three equations, then it will be ax plus by plus cz equal to d. So let us take an example for two unknown with two equations. So this is the example that we are going to take. We have the equation 2x plus 5y equal to 20, 3x plus 6y equals to 12. Now, to do that, first of all, we will enter into equation mode. To do that, we will press this mode three times. 1, 2, 3. You will see here the equation is written and below that we have number 1. So, to enter into the equation mode, we will press 1. Now, in the equation, we have two unknown variables so we are going to enter two here so now it is going to ask the values to enter so for x we have like here two so we are going to enter two then for b1 we have five we are going to enter five c c1 will be 20 so we are going to enter 20 then for a2 that is equation for equation number two we have a2 as three so we are going to enter three for B2, we have 6, we are going to enter 6. And for C2, we have 12. So we are going to enter 12. And again, pressing equal to sign, the value of x1 comes out to be minus 20. And value of y comes out to be 12. So this is the solution for this equation. We have the values as minus 20 and 12. Okay. If after that you there is another uh, equation, then you can again press equal to sign, and again by changing these variables, you you can solve the equation. Right. I'm just giving you an example like this. So you will get different different values. All right. So you, since I have resetted the calculator, the uh, after decimal places we are getting nine value uh, nine values. So you can fix it to three or two decimal places. For that, I have made a previous video. You can watch that. Okay, like this. Now let us take another example to solve three equation that has three unknown variables. The example is four x minus three y plus z plus ten equal to zero, two x plus y plus three z equal to zero, minus x plus two y minus five z minus seventeen equal to zero. This is the three unknown variables the three equation that contain three unknown variable so to solve it again we are going to press mode three times we are going to, again going to go to equation mode and this time since we have three unknowns we are going to press three now here if you observe the equation is given in ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to zero but the format that we have discussed is in the form of ax plus by equal to c. So what we are going to do is we are going to put it into that format. So by putting it into the format, the format is 4x minus 3y plus z equal to minus 10, 2x plus y plus 3z is equals to 0, then minus x plus 2y minus 5z equal to 70. Right? And now what we have to do? We have, we have to just enter the values. So a1 here will be 4, b1 here will be minus 3, z will be 1 and d1 will be minus 10. Likewise a2 will be 2, then b2 will be 1, c2 will be 3 and d2 here is 0 so it will be 0 a3 is minus 1, b3 is plus 2, c3 is minus 5, and d3 is 70. So, the values of unknown variable x1 will be 1, y 
will be 4 and z will be minus 2 right so this is the solution for the equation you can again go back to look into the values x equals to 1 y equals to 4 and z equals to minus 2 again if you want to enter different values you can again by clicking equal to sign you can enter the different values to get the solution for some different equation right so this is how you solve the two unknown and three unknown variables in n and one ms to get out of the mode you have to click one and then you have to click mode and then click one so you will get out of the equation mode all right so i hope uh, the this uh, video was informative to you and if so do share your views in the comment section and like the video if the if you found the video useful subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching have a nice day